Hey guys, with today's video, you are going to learn a very important lesson in boxing and in MMA, and that is that you must protect yourself at all times. There are fighters who will take advantage of any mistake or any inattention, and you have to be ready for anything. Let's start, but first give this video a like, or I'll come and I'll give you a surprise punch myself. Let's start with the most recent one, where Ruben Torres and Christian Baez are fighting, and in the seventh round, the two of them had knocked each other down. And after the later one, Baez wanted to touch gloves as a sign of respect, but Torres took advantage. He tripped. He thought he tripped, but he was oh! Oh! Torres was the first to go for the touch of gloves, so he himself is setting up the trap to lower Baez's guard to knock him out. This guy didn't even feel bad for winning like that. He said that you have to protect yourself at all times and lied, saying that he just started throwing as soon as the referee said that they should continue, completely forgetting the fact that he was the one that went for the touch first. What a freaking dumbass cheater. Jack Dempsey fought against Jack Sharkey in 1927, and while they were tied up, Dempsey gave him a low blow, and Sharkey began to complain. Sharkey complains to the referee, and down he goes with a left hook to the head. This one is more difficult than the first one, because here is a clear case where you have to protect yourself at all times. Because Dempsey did not see that Sharky stopped fighting and that he was grabbing his balls, looking at the referee to stop the fight. What Dempsey did was a natural reaction of throwing down low and then throwing up high. The bad thing is that the referee was already going to stop the fight for the low blow, but after Sharky fell, he counted it as a knockdown and he started counting it until he lost the fight. He should have given him a chance to recover from the low blow. Now we have a referee who's a complete idiot, and it was a fight between Maxi Hughes and Paul Highland Jr. Potentially. Oh, he's hurt him again. He's turned away. This time, oh! Huge right hand, and Maxi... Highland obviously thought that the referee got between the two of them to count this as an eight count, but then the ref told him to continue. I don't know why the referee even got involved if he wasn't going to stop it. There was no need to separate them or anything. But then Hughes gave him a tremendous shot that knocked him out. Hughes could have stopped when he saw the guy turning his back, but instead he just hit him with everything he had. The referee is a useless one here, with Hughes sucking a little bit too. Here we have an amateur fight where a boxer got mad because his head was pushed down. The opponent wanted to apologize, but this guy didn't forgive him and began to hit him immediately while the other guy tried to touch gloves. Yes, of course it's okay for him to apologize and everything, and it would be nice if the other guy accepted it, but when it comes to fighting each other, sometimes you get too angry and you can't let go of the offense, so I don't see anything wrong here, and plus nobody got knocked out either. Now we are going to see the funniest of all since both do not protect each other at all times. I don't know if the first guy was really going to hit him or not, or he just wanted to scare him, but the other guy didn't like the joke at all and told him, take this you stupid clown. This poor guy was completely knocked out, but now he knows not to joke around in the ring. Here we have another fight where Nagi Aguilera tried to complain to the referee that he got hit behind the head while Frank Sanchez kept on fighting. Fan base behind them. They have a hard time. But big overhead, right? Primero, first, the blow was not even behind the head. It hit him right on the side. But this guy just wanted to complain because they were beating him pretty badly. What this man does have is that he can take a shot because the second punch was clean and he still did not go down. But then he became a clown later on, complaining about another blow that also wasn't to the back of the head and he didn't get up this time. Chris, not just winning. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. This fool became an award-winning actor, throwing himself everywhere like a terrible Mexican novella. The good thing is that he lost in a dominant way. Now let's see one from MMA, where this fighter throws himself at the fallen fighter, and when he puts his feet up, they kick him in the balls. Technically, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens here, Josh. This is also a case where this fighter stopped protecting himself. The referee never stopped the fight after the low blow, so I don't know why he stopped defending himself. And the other guy said, well, I guess I have to punch you if nobody's going to stop me. I'm going to mess you up, and that's exactly what happened. Here we have one that is really weird from MMA. Now he doesn't want to fall into the trap. 
Well, it seems that the green haired guy was giving him the opportunity to stand up, but the referee never got in there to give him the opportunity to get up safely. So the Joker here began to punch him while he got up without any defense. It seems to me that it was a mistake by the referee and also by the guy who got knocked out because he could have done much more to defend himself at that very moment. Errol Spence Jr. is one of the best boxers out there right now and while fighting your Dennis Ugas, he lost his mind for a brief moment. And they're just standing right in front of each other. That right hand hurts Spence. Spence is sent to the ropes. When I watched the fight live, I thought that the first punch actually hurt Spence. So he stopped defending himself and turned around. But apparently, he dropped his mouthpiece and went looking for it in the middle of the fight. He said he doesn't know why he did it. He just lost his cool. But luckily, he didn't get knocked out with that powerful second punch. Spence ended up winning by TKO in the 10th round. John Moraga took a low blow, but the referee didn't see it that way, so he told him to continue. But Moraga didn't continue and almost turned his back on Willie Gates, who takes full advantage. Do you see that? Moraga kept complaining to the referee while Gates was hitting him, and then he almost got choked out for crying so much. Moraga is absolutely right to complain. But since they're beating the shit out of you, maybe, just maybe, you should start fighting back. The good thing is that Moraga survived, and in the fourth round, he won with a submission. Many of these cases are blunders by the referee, and there's no worse one than this one. Right in close with the right hand there, and I think he touched down, but then he comes back. Darren Barker was clearly knocked down as his gloves hit the canvas, and the referee even said stop, but he went in very slowly and then Barker was able to throw a hook that put Paul Samuels to sleep. This is very rare. What are they supposed to do here? Do they give Samuels the opportunity to get up and recover, or is he so knocked out that they disqualify Barker for the somewhat illegal shot? Well, they counted it as a knockout and Barker won with a bit of cheating. Here it seems to me that this fighter is complaining about a headbutt and his opponent tells him, don't be making shit up, and just goes at him. Oh well, for being a crybaby, they knocked him out. And to be honest, I don't know if there was a headbutt or not, but the referee never gave an indication that he was going to get involved, so he had to protect himself at all times. Sometimes there are fighters who stop protecting themselves because they received a punch that left them stunned, and they didn't even know where they were. I mean, some of it I agree with, some I don't. Oh, he's badly hurt! He doesn't even know where he is! Ortiz! It's over. This is shot! Luis Ortiz is the boxer who delivered the brutal shot on Charles Martin, who just stared into the audience. This poor guy didn't stop protecting himself. He couldn't protect himself anymore, and he didn't even know that he was in a fight. The sad thing is that Martin almost won this fight as he had knocked down Ortiz twice, but when you don't finish the fight, sometimes you end up losing badly. This is completely different to the others, since the guy was just too cocky and didn't raise his hands, so he got knocked out. Poor guy, he didn't do the shoulder roll well at all, and he didn't cover up either, and boy did they send him to sleep. It's a miracle they didn't take his head off. This is the most famous one, where Gregorian for some reason turned his back on his opponent, Gronhardt, who didn't waste the opportunity. Who won round one, according to all five judges, oh my, defend yourself! Gronhardt was winning the fight easily, but he could have held back and not landed that shot just out of sportsmanship. Apparently, Gregorian turned his back on him because the knee had opened up a cut on his face and he was going to his corner to be treated, but instead, he got knocked out. The referee never saw the cut and didn't stop the fight, and that's how it ended. Now, according to you guys, do you think that the fighter should have more sportsmanship and not attack their opponents when they are not paying attention, or is it okay for them to take advantage whenever they can? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time.